energy efficiency, renewable energy, at DOE is doing. So we're tasked with, with uh, developing the next generation of energy technologies, particularly renewable energy technologies. They're cleaner, cheaper, and all insurance potential purposes will be unlimited, which is really critical. The world has noticed the global energy market is exploding. It is now more than five times what it was 10 years ago. In fact, Sklar gave some data the other day that uh, lines up with this. Before I talk about our key priorities, I thought I'd take us backwards a little bit and talk about where we've been. Did you know that the wind capacity has more than doubled between 2008 and 2012? Solar capacity has grown 20 times in that same period. Did you know that solar accounted for about a third of all the new generation in 2014? I bet you didn't know that. That's a very significant number. Even with the amazing growth, Hydropower is still our largest renewable resource, and a lot of people don't realize that. It's about 50% of the general, renewable generation in the U.S. is hydropower. Geothermal is one we don't talk about a lot, but it's a potential game changer. It has the potential to supply 10% of the nation's electricity as clean, consistent, and base load power. So what's next? Where are we going to go? Well, wind is currently providing about 5% of U.S. generation and we think there's significant new potential going forward. About a year ago, we issued the Wind Vision Report that laid out what the opportunity was between now and 2050. And the work we do in that program is, is geared toward delivering on that reality. And SunShot, you probably have heard of the SunShot 2020 initiative, which really calls for us to reduce the cost of solar by 75%, making it competitive with other uh, renewable and non-renewable sources. We're about 70% of the way there. So we're now working on SunShot 2030. We're looking at another 10 years and saying, where can we go next? Well, people thought the goal for SunShot 2020 was impossible. We had a lot of folks telling us it wouldn't happen. Well, they'll probably say the same about SunShot 2030, but stay tuned because we'll plan to uh, talk more about that shortly. In, in geothermal, the, the program that we talk most about is called Forge. And this is basically uh, looking at a pathway to uh, getting geothermal all the way across the nation. Right now, geothermal energy is mostly taken up where you have geothermal systems, like the geysers in California. There is potential for geothermal power all across the nation, and we can get the cost down. On the water side, it includes both hydropower and marine hydrokinetic energy. And in our strategy is to not only augment the technologies in those areas, but look at uh, new areas where we can implement technology. Over the past 65 years, hydropower has been over 85% of the U.S. renewable power generation. With innovative modular systems, we believe we can power the 90% of the dams out there today that currently do not have power associated with them. We'll soon be releasing our hydrovision report, which, like the wind vision report, we'll talk about where we're going to go with this technology over the next few decades. And our marine hydrokinetics program, it's a young industry, you haven't heard a lot about it, but it has huge potential. Think about marine waves, currents, uh, and tides. All of those have the potential to generate renewable power 24 7. Cutting across all these technologies is the challenge of modernizing, modernizing our country's electric grid. We launched the Grid Modernization Initiative three years ago, and one of the initiatives is called our Grid Modernization Lab Consortium, which brings together all the national labs together to focus on this one big challenge. You heard from Martin Keller a few minutes ago from NREL. They're the only national lab focused on clean energy specifically. Our, all the labs have a piece to play in this solution, and they're working together on it. An example would be cybersecurity. We all need to address cybersecurity as we go forward. I'll close by saying we have a number of challenges to address in realizing a clean, sustainable energy future for our country, but I will tell you that the opportunities far, out, far outnumber those challenges. Thank you very much.